Welcome to story time. I'm going to read a story that I know we have at Sweet Peas. It's been a while since we read it, and it's actually a story, a few stories in one, about two friends named Frog and Toad. So let's start. Frog and Toad are Friends by Arnold Lobel. The first story that they have in this book is titled Spring. That's the one we're going to read today. Frog ran up the path to Toad's house, and he knocked on the front door. There was no answer. Toad! Toad! shouted Frog. Wake up! It's spring! Blah! said a voice from inside the house. The sun is shining. The snow is melting. Wake up! I am not here, said the voice. Frog walked into the house. It was dark. All the shutters were closed. Toad, where are you? Crawled, cried, called Frog. Go away, said the voice from the corner of the room. Toad was lying in bed. He had pulled the covers over his head. Frog pushed Toad out of bed, and he pushed him out of the house onto the front porch. Toad blinked in the bright sun. Help, said Toad. I cannot see anything. Don't be silly, said Frog. What you see is the clear, warm light of April, and it means that we can begin a whole new year together, Toad. Think of it, said Frog. We will skip through the meadows, run through the woods, swim in the river. In the evenings, we will sit right here on this front porch and count the stars. Eh, you can count them, Frog, said Toad. I will be too tired. I'm going back to bed. Toad went back to his house. He got into the bed and pulled the covers over his head cried Frog. You will miss all the fun. Listen, Frog, said Toad. How long have I been asleep? You've been asleep since November, said Frog. Well then, said Toad. A little more sleep would not hurt me. Come back and wake me up about half past May. Good night, Frog. But Toad. But Toad, said Frog. I will be lonely until then. Toad did not answer. He had fallen asleep. <sighs> Frog looked at Toad's calendar. The November page was still on top. Frog tore the November page. He tore off the December page. And the January page. And the February page, in the March page, then came the April page. Frog tore off the April page, too. Then Frog ran back to Toad's bed. Toad! Toad! Wake up! It's May now! What? said Toad. Ugh! Can it be May so soon? Yes, said Frog. Look at your calendar. Toad looked at the calendar. The May page was on the top. Well, why it is May, said Toad, as he climbed out of bed. Then he and Frog ran outside to see how the world was looking in the spring. The End I hope you enjoyed this story. We can read other toad and frog stories in the future. For now, take care. Bye, grasshoppers.